So in this video we're going to look at adding increased functionality to the surface dial when using Premiere Pro. What I found is the inbuilt application of the surface dial is only a jog or shuffle. So if I rotate the dial to the right, it does not advance one frame at a time, which is what my desired outcome is. Same with the left, I can't just skip one frame. The depression of the button of the surface dial is the plain pause feature, which is what I do want, so that's just spacebar. So what we can look at doing is adding an additional custom tool to the surface dial. So to do that, we go to settings and search for wheel. And once it's connected, this will come up. So we can add a custom tool on here, but the easy way to do it is to add the app. So we go to add app, find the application we want it to run on. So in this case is Premiere Pro. And add a tool. So we can give it a new tool name. I'm going to call this one Frame Step. Now, if you were to assign these rotate right shortcuts, no precursor onto this, and put it to right, it comes up with the number pad right key, which is also the number six, which does not translate across into Premiere Pro correctly. I'll just show you that now. If I rotate right, press, circle around to the custom tool I've set up. And if I turn right, it just adds the number six, which as you can imagine is not very useful at all. So what we need to do is go back into the settings and modify this tool. So what we need to know in Premiere Pro is what keyboard shortcuts are already in use and what spare keys we might have that we can use. So I'm going to go to edit, keyboard shortcuts, and have a look to see what's available. So I can see on the standard Premiere Pro default keyboard shortcuts, there are some blank spaces up here, which are perfect for our usage. So F7 and F8 are blank, along with some of the function keys at the top, but I'm going to utilize these two. What I'm going to do is go back into my wheel settings and modify. I do not want to have anything in the beginning, so when I rotate right, I want it to be F8. And when I rotate left, nothing at the beginning, I want that to be F7. And the click shortcut, I want it just to be the space bar because that's play and pause. Is and we'll just click done back into Premiere Pro and if you search for step step back one frame if we just click on the side you can see it's unhighlights and highlights and if we just turn the dial to the left it's assigned it to F7 on both the keyboard and the dial and then if we do the same for step forward one frame just click again to add another shortcut Rotate right, and it's added F8 as well. So you can see at the top there, it's added it on. We click OK. Now when we go back into it, we push and hold. Looks well to say, if we push and hold the button, if we have it on the Premiere Pro setting, it's still just a jog. It's not a one frame advance. And then if we push and hold this, go around to our frame step, custom tool that we've created, select that. It should, by rotating the dial, give a single frame, step forward and step back. This is the easiest way I've found to do this. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If you have any better solutions to this problem, please do let me know.